What's my origin story as a fiber artist? Well, I would say it starts with my great grandmother, Leona, who was a quilter and a stitcher and a needle crafter. And then it passed through her daughter, Mary, and then from Mary to my mother, Carol. And so growing up in my house, my mom was always doing some sort of fiber arts project, knitting, crocheting, quilting, whatever she was working on at the moment. It was just normalized and I had access to those tools and materials. I was a public school student in upstate New York, so I had to do the required home economics class in seventh grade, and I made a very horrible sweatshirt. And then my senior year of high school, I dropped calculus to take a sewing class, much to the disappointment of my guidance counselor. And it was in that sewing class that I learned, um, you know, garment construction and how to sew clothing, and I really loved it. I went to college in Ithaca, at Ithaca College. I was an environmental studies major. And then fast forward to graduate school where I studied poetry and book arts. And it was really my book arts professor who validated my informal education through fiber arts, through my mother and this community of crafters that I had been raised in. And that gave me permission to take that work into my, um, into my artwork. And then I did some very large scale art installations with lots of collaborators and performers. But in 2013, um, I focused on this project, Make, Make Thrift Mend. It was in response to the Rana Plaza factory collapse in Dhaka, Bangladesh. And I wanted to combine my studies in environmental studies, my passion in fiber arts, and make a social practice project. So I made simple garments, bought secondhand, and taught myself mending and natural dyes. And now that's the center of my work, um, my studio work, is that sort of combination of fiber arts and slow fashion.